told our two questioners, Sabrina from the Wall Street Journal and Kumar uh, from the uh, uh, Trust of India. And uh, Sabrina, you first. Moving ourselves and having railway to go all the way across the southern two-thirds, the, the, from the Atlantic Ocean to the, to the Indian Ocean in Africa to be able to transport and do it cheaper and do it with less, less, how can I say it, less carbon emissions. Mr. President, what's your response for Republicans who say your son got special treatment? Do we have a two-tier system of justice, President? First, a two-part question for you. Uh, your comments at a fundraiser this week appear to be the first time in recent memory that a sitting U.S. president has called a Chinese leader a dictator. Uh, did those comments about President Xi undermine or complicate the progress your administration has made in maintaining a relationship with China? And secondly, on India, as you raise these broader issues of human rights and democracy, what is your message to those, including some members of your own party, who say that your administration is overlooking the targeting of religious minorities and crackdown on dissent in Prime Minister Modi's country? The answer to your first question is no. Uh, you know, uh, when we're talking to our allies and, uh, and partners around the world, including India, uh, we let the, uh, uh, the idea of my choosing and avoiding saying what I think is the facts with regard to the relationship with India, with uh, China, is, uh, is just not uh, something I'm going to uh, change very much. Um, I think we, uh, I believe that, and I've said this for some time, that the hysteria about the relationship with China is collapsing and moving, et cetera, et cetera. We had an incident that uh, caused uh, some, uh, some confusion, you might say. But, President, but the Secretary Blinken had a great trip to China. I expect to be meeting with President Xi sometime in the future, in the near term, and uh, I don't think it's had any real consequence. Uh, and what was your second question? India now has the most populous country, is now the most populous country in the world. It's a democracy. We understand that it is, has, it, it, it is the brilliance and the backbone of our people, as diverse in, in talents and traditions that make us strong as a nation. It's democracies that do that. For example, we're working with the G7 to provide for infrastructure work for, for uh, dealing with global warming in the continent of Africa, uh, in Angola, building the largest solar project. Well, first of all, I think it is the existential threat to humanity, climate change. It's the most serious problem we face as human beings. 